How y'all doing today? It's your boy Jermaine from Shovel Nose Hogs back with another feeding. It's Sunday, so I'm going to be feeding the majority of my hog noses or attempting to do so. You know how that goes. And also on Wednesday, I got two more snakes that's going to be coming in the mail. Very excited about them. If y'all want, y'all can guess what they are in the bottom in the comment section. But with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. So today I decided maybe if I can do some things a little different today and take y'all through the whole process um, to get myself more on camera. So first we're going to start off, I got the pinkies right here and I'm going to thaw them out. So this is like the cup that I use. I do not drink out of this cup. This cup is only for defrosting pinkies. So just add some water. All right. And I always... Um, Use my microwave and heat it up for like 30 seconds. So put the cup in the microwave. Add 30 seconds. And then I'll wait for it to finish. All right, now that my water is warm, the mice in there, and I let them defrost. You also got a fresh bag of sardines. Just opened up a can. This is for the snakes that like the scented uh, pinkies. So. We'll let those defrost and we're gonna get to these snakes. All right, so I got everything set up, which is actually pretty cool how I got it. So I got everybody lined up just to make it look easy or to make it easier. So I got all the adults, got the scented mice, and then over here got all the younger ones that I'm gonna feed. So we'll see how this goes. It's probably be a lot more efficient. So the first one we're gonna feed is gonna be sassy. So. Already looks like she has an attitude and she just shed the other day and it's crazy I'm not sure if this camera can pick it up, but she's more green than she's ever been so Which is pretty cool Pretty cool how they change colors as they age Okay, buddy Here you go I know you're mad. There you go. So greedy. So angry. She's in hell in this mouse. <laughs> Man, but she is so pretty. As you can see, like her saddles are just more green. Especially like going down the back and like her tail. All right, so she's bought that. Let me go feed Cheeto, because Cheeto's acting a fool. All right, Cheeto, don't run out of here. Go Cheeto. There you go. Pretty, pretty Cheeto. I really hope she can produce for me next year. Love to be able to have some more. Definitely let some of y'all guys be able to purchase any of them. All right, since she's a little out of camera, <laughs> she's in hell in that mouse too. Let's move on to the next. All right, so the next guy is Steve. So I already know his crazy butt isn't gonna eat on camera. As you can see, he's kind of green too. Look at his saddles. And I actually um, left him in the enclosure with Tofu last night since he's the backup snake and she loves him. I don't know what it is about him, 
but she reacts differently from him compared to Diablo. Like she actually was like running around the enclosure, wagging her tail and everything. And I've never seen her do that for Diablo. So maybe he could be a potential baby daddy. I don't know. But Diablo still, he still does his thing. He still tries, but she really likes Steve. Man. I don't know what it is about Steve. Because it definitely isn't his personality. Next up is Diablo. What's up, buddy? Definitely, this camera's definitely pick, picking up that pink. As you can see, it's a very beautiful pink. Almost kind of like a lavender color. Let's see if he's hungry. Usually he's a slow eater. Might have to just leave that there for him. Yeah, and I'll just cover him back up. Let him eat that mouse in private. And you can just hear Steve just, he's not even focused on a mouse yet. All right. Next up, we got Noodle. He looks hungry. Really wish I could breed this guy, man. If I knew I was gonna be breeding hog noses, I probably wouldn't have got him with that hump in his back. But he's still a real laid back and cool snake. Come here, man, you can't eat the side of the enclosure. Bite the mouse. There you go. He's a beautiful color. I love that yellow color that he has. Definitely one of my most calmest hognose snakes. And he was my first. So I'm definitely gonna keep him. All right, I'm gonna put these guys up and we're gonna move on to the smaller ones. All right, so all the sub-adults um, and the adult males are back in there. Uh, bins or in their rats. So let's now let's get to the babies. See if they will eat. All right. So we're gonna start off with the ones, the two that I know they're gonna eat. First is gonna be the corn snake, the blizzard, corn snake, frosty. As you can see, she's always interested in food. Never missed a meal for me, even when she's in shed. Look at that, like a whiplash. She's still a little pink, but she's definitely getting more white. And then like on her underbelly, she has a lot of yellow. So as these blizzards age, um, they lose their pink color, which is good. As you can see right up under her chin, you can see that yellow streak. I was at the pet store yesterday looking at corn snakes and uh, looking at some adult size ones and I cannot wait till she gets big. So we're gonna put this up. Let's move on to the ambush predator, Hazel. What's up girl? Love her pattern, man. Wouldn't she look nice paired to like a lemon, a nice lemon ghost woman? Those babies will look amazing. That yellow. There you go. Always does a good job of eating. All right, now let's go to the ones that I may not be so lucky to feed on camera. First one is gonna be Onyx, probably in a bad mood. What's up, buddy? As you can see, man, he's getting really, really dark already. I wonder if he's gonna keep any of his pattern. So I got this pinky right here, scented it with sardines. Let's see if he'll take it. 
All right, buddy. I know you're hungry. to sent this with sardines, but it's all good. We'll go next time without scenting, but it's good that my boy's eating, even though he's still feisty. this little thing and got it off camera yeah she's just a normal hog nose nice browns no she's not going to eat on camera all right so that's basically the end of this video let me know if you like this style um, where it's kind of more going all the way through in terms of my feedings instead of kind of like cutting it and editing and stuff like that and if you enjoy these videos, you can subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave a comment down at the bottom. And if you want to follow any more of my other social media platforms, I have my Facebook, Instagram, and Discord links in the description. And I'll see y'all for the next one.